So how do you start your scrapbook pages? So you pick your photos. So I have these photos from February 2011 when we had a big snowfall and it kind of blew in the driveway. And um, but now that I have my photos, so I've decided on three photos for this one page. What's the next step? So I'm going to show you and walk you through some of the process that you can do to start scrapbooking. So my name is Amanda Farlinger with From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And I help women tell their story and capture memories through scrapbooking. So come sit with me and we're going to scrapbook. So grab your photos, uh, pause the, the video if you need, grab some photos, grab your supplies and let's scrapbook together. So these photos, like I said, are from 2011, February 2011. And I know I'm going to be using some Christmassy stuff. Um, it, unfortunately, it is coming, even though right now I'm recording this, it's September. But um, I do love what I'm going to show you. It's, it's a really cool kit that we can use. So we have a stamp set and some dies, um, a title stamp set, and then a kit that we're going to use. So I'll talk about more of the kit in a moment. So this here is what we're gonna start with, some pool party um, two-tone cardstock. So this is really interesting because this kit, um, Stampin' Up! released this uh, Snow Days scrapbooking workshop kit. And I just have to show you the two-tone cardstock because you get to choose which side that you'd like to use. And I hope it shows up on the photo or in the video, kind of, sort of. So you see how this one's lighter and this one's darker? So this is the pool party color and then this is light pool party. So you can choose whichever side you'd like to use. And we're gonna change it up a little bit. So I love using sketches. So I have sketches that um, the link will be in the description below of all the products I've used on this layout to create this layout and also the link to receive my three free scrapbook um, sketches layout or layouts. So if um, you're not wanting to do one of the new scrapbooking workshop kits to purchase those to have start scrapbooking with, because these are easy, fun way to start, pick your photos and scrapbook with. But if you'd like to be a bit more um, selective with what other products you're going to use or using what you have on hand, those free scrapbooking sketches would be perfect to get. So that link will be down below so you can grab those and uh, scrapbook with me for those layouts. So we're going to use this layout right here. So there's three two-page layouts in each of the workshop kits. And so we're gonna use page number two. We're gonna change it up because we're gonna use the stamp set and the dies and some other things. So I'm just gonna lay it out here first. So first step for when you're scrapbooking is to pick your photos. So I've done that already. And then picking what, um, you know, paper you're going to use. So you might want to look through a catalog or even the online store. You might want to um, look at what you have already in your stash. So I'll do is I'll go and grab some designer series paper that I have and then start looking at what photos I've gotten and then what designer series paper I could use. So this one, I'm using the Snow Days um, workshop kit, but you could also use the, what was this called? Snowy Scenes designer series paper. And I'll quickly show you that because it coordinates with this kit too. I'm not gonna use it, but it coordinates with this kit. I'm still not sure pumpkin pie and poppy parade are the right colors for what I think Christmas is, but that's all right. So my desk is covered, my, my table is covered in stuff. All right, so first step, pick your photos. Second step, pick a designer series paper or a kit or, um, and then a sketch um, or just wing it and put some papers down and see what happens. So in this case, this one here has two photos, one three by four and one, I think it's a four by four. Um, yeah, four by four and a three by four on there. But because my photos are a little bit bigger and I didn't want to cut them down too small, too much smaller, I've done three and three quarters by five inches. So it's going to look a little different than my layout or than the, what I'm going for. 
but I've pulled the pieces out of the kit that they've called for. And we're just going to wing it and put some things down and see what happens. So I'm trying to decide where things are going to go. And I might just save this. I put that down. So the kit does have instructions in it. So if you want to follow along with that kit, <coughs> excuse me, you're more than welcome to. Okay. I think I like it. Kind of like how they did it. But there's, to me, there's a little bit of an empty space. So we're going to add a photo here. I think what I'll do is I'll, instead of adding this as a strip on top of the candy canes, I'll add it at the bottom here. So yeah, I like that. All right. So I kind of have, so what I've done is in this snow days um, instruction. So there's all the instructions with how to cut the paper, the, either the cardstock or the designer series paper. And then uh, we're going to have a look at the kit here in a few minutes. I'm going to do some stamping first. Um, and so I've cut the pieces according to what they, you know, what they've shared works. Um, so now um, in the other thing they've used or included, which is really fun, is this sticker sheet. So it's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So basically you just um, pull these off. So this page calls for a penguin. So it's a sticky back and one of the trays. So we will use that, but we're going to do it also. Sorry. It also said to use <coughs> the snow much fun title, but I'm going to use the snow day stamp set. So this stamp set, um, Stampin' Up! released a new scrapbooking brochure, and some of it coordinates with our uh, mini catalog. That's not going to fit. I need my bigger block. Where did it go? Oops, in a different drawer. All right, so photopolymer stamps, I like putting down on my workspace to get them. That's how I get them kind of straight-ish. And then we're going to use Poppy Parade. Oh, this one's sparkly. I don't know. Can you see the sparkle? I got sparkle on my Poppy Parade. Oops. I was going to do some Versamark. Oh, well. Let's see. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to grab... some copy paper here and we're just going to clean this up I'm put verse and mark on it so I I like putting verse and mark on my clear my photopolymer stamp sets just because it helps when they're brand new I haven't used this one yet they're brand new to add some kind of it, not really adhesive, but um, to make it so that the ink will stick a little better. Um, because it's a brand new stamp pad. So now the ink should stick to the stamp. There we go. Ink sticks to the stamp a lot better that time. We are going to hmm, that is too big. I don't like the size I cut this paper to. And this cardstock is called Willow White. It's um a new color based on the close to my heart products because Stampin' Up! has brought in some close to my heart items uh, when they close when close to my heart closed earlier this year so it's been uh, fun to get some new scrapbooking items because of that um, so I'm happy 
that Stampin' Up! has um, brought in scrapbooking items with more coming. Okay, there we go. Now I can clean this up again. I got ink everywhere. And I'll probably get it on my hands, but that's okay. All right. So we'll just set that kind of aside for now. All right. There, I think that was better. Okay. Some of my ink pads are a little difficult to open. All right. So now we have a title that we're going to slip under here. I don't know whether, ink of my finger. I don't know whether I want it to go all the way across or if I want to have it like a little flag. So I got to decide on that. But I also wanted to do some stamping right on this lay on the base. So I wanted to mimic the snowflakes of the designer paper, but put them down here. I'm just going to move those items up there. And I have some pool party ink. And then we're going to use uh, this snowflake stamp. Let's do. And I think we'll also use the other little one as well. And I'm just going to stamp using Pool Party. In multiple little spots. And even off the page. And that's all right because I can use my Simply Chamois to wash that up without too much issue. Dry the counter. So then just put my photo back a little so I can see where else to stamp. Okay. And you could add uh, a darker blue if you wanted, um, like Coastal Cabana, or you could add in um, Misty Moonlight, maybe. You could also add, um, do a little bit more fancy by adding um, some white embossing to it. Some white embossing powder, if you wanted. And emboss some of these uh, snowflakes. All right, so I think that's good. Just add a little bit more dimension. I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a clean. And color combos are also a great way to start. So if you're not sure where, like what colors to use in your layout, uh, I make it easier on myself. I look at the um, pack. So the designer series paper, or in this case, the Snow Day Scrapbooking Workshop Kit. This one has Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, and White Willow. So those are the colors in this kit. So that's why I've chosen Poppy Parade. It's not usually a color I would pick for scrapbooking, uh, winter, or Christmas-related items. But so I have Poppy, Poppy Parade and... Uh, pool party are two of the colors and then we're going to use a little bit of garden green so we're going to use the snow wonder dyes so the snow snowy wonder uh, bundle is part of the snow day or snowy days suite and it is right here so page 32 and 33 of the catalog so um, there's the designer series paper, and there is the bundle. We also have these really pretty little snowflake. That's They're not adhesive. They're just loose. I think I'm going to use some with some uh, glue dots to finish off the page. Um, and then the uh, scrapbooking 
kit. Here is the scrapbook scrapbooking kit for you. And um, it, that's the all six two page or three two page layouts, all six layouts that you can make with it. And then um, an alternative design that you can make with the um, sticker sheet and the designer series paper. Um, so this is the sticker sheet with the designer series paper. And then there's some two-tone cardstock that you can purchase to add on to do your own pages. And then that snow day um, stamp set. All right. So we're going to use the dies, the snowy wonder dies. And I have some garden green cardstock with some adhesive sheet stuck to the back of it because we're going to use that tree that the layout calls for from the sticker sheet but we're going to add some trees behind it so here are the dies and i love i love that there's a penguin and a snowman or snow penguin and a snow person So we're going to put one tree there. We're going to cut out three trees. And I put the adhesive on the back to make it nice and fast to add these to the layout. once I get them out of the dies. Oops. Probably shouldn't be using my scissors. Probably should be using my die brush. That means I have to pull it out of the boards and so when you purchase a stamp and dies or stamp and punches together as a bundle, you save 10%. Uh, when those bundles carry over into either the online exclusives or the next catalog, they're no longer a bundled item. So when they first come out, they're a bundled item. All right, so there's two of our trees. There's the third one. Okay, so we're gonna put those up there for now. We got our title, we got our snowflakes, we got um, our designer series paper already. All right, so let's have a look at this scrapbooking kit for a moment before I put this layout together. So I will have a list below of all the items I've used in this layout. So then if you want to come back and scrapbook using this layout, um, what I'm using today, then you can come back to this video. Um, so inside there is very detailed instructions about how to cut up the paper, designer series paper and cardstock. There is a full 12 by 12 sticker sheet, two pieces of pool party. Then there's these, um, some of these designer series paper because they're exclusive to the kit. They are only one-sided. So you'll just notice that three of those are just one-sided. Um, so this one is from the designer series pack. Um, and uh, so you get a whole bunch of paper, designer paper, and then a bunch of white cardstock as well, because those are used for photo layers and also for um, your, back, like your main pieces for your layouts. And then in the kit as well, you get some photo um, position things. So if you want to do these layouts and give them to someone for a present, like for Christmas or for a birthday, and do it up for them, and so they can just print their photos and put them in, they'll know what size to print the photos because you can add these photo cards right on the layout. Now, if you already have your photos or you already know, you'll remember what photo size is, you don't need to add those, but it's always helpful to have them regardless. All right, so let's put the layout together. 
Now I like using the Tombow liquid glue to put my layouts together. And then I use um, the stamp and seal regular, not the plus for my photos when I put my photos on my layouts. And I prefer using um, a color to put my uh, photo mats. That's the words I'm looking for. So to put my photos on a photo mat, I like using color or using cardstock, I should say, sorry. And sometimes it's just white cardstock. Other times it's um, a, like I could use pool party type deal. All right, so. So this is one of the papers that is one-sided. And I'll have the link to the scrapbooking brochure in the description below. These items you can find in my online store. So if you don't want to look at the brochure, you can just have a peek at um, the online store as well. And um, next, next week, I'm, no, in a couple weeks, I'll be using the autumn one because there's an autumn uh, scrapbooking workshop kit that looks fun. All right, so let's check my spacing for where these need to go. All right, that works right about there. And I have put all my photos on Stampin' Dimensionals to pop them up a little bit. So for this kit, you will need your own adhesive, a trimmer, and um, that would be about it. So your own trimmer, your own adhesive, and then you can put everything together. And if you want to purchase some of the Snowy Wonder um, bundle or buy some additional designer series paper, say if you want to prep for the upcoming holidays because it's going to come really fast because I don't know how it's almost October. Really don't. But another, I think I was trying to say this earlier, it was another um, thing I like about designer series paper is a color combo. So if you've picked your photos, uh, no, I was talking about color or color combo. So I was using these two, holidays. If you missed that part, <laughs> too many things in my mind. All right. So I'm going to trim this off a little make a little flaggy because so I've decided I don't want it to go all the way across so we're going to glue that down first form a photo down so this goes kind of in the right spot All right, so let's put this one down first. Got my little garbage container. And I probably put way too many dimensionals in the back of my photos, but because it's a scrapbook layout, I really don't want the photo to kind of get smushy. So I'd rather have some extra dimensionals on the back to provide that support. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me know what you think of Poppy Parade as a color on this layout. Um, oh, wait, which photo? Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like Poppy Parade, but it seems to be a popular bright color for Christmas. And I know using candy canes on a February layout is maybe not the best idea but i'm still getting my scrapbook layout done so it doesn't really matter all right now let's have a peek so we started off with this uh design as inspiration and we've used we've changed it around a little bit so added some snowflakes here 
added the title, a different title. So now what we need to do is add in our trees and our penguin. And I do like the penguin. I'm just gonna stick them on the stamp case for a minute. Um, is it the big tree or the small tree? I think it's the small tree. So I put, I'm just going to put the bottom down just because it's sticky and see where I want to put these other trees or if I want to put them here. No, I kind of like it behind and then we can put penguin in the same corner. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm going to leave the tree right where it is. I'm going to take this adhesive off the back of the little trees. Now the nice part about this stamp set, there is one of these trees here. So you could stamp one of the trees and then die cut it with the coordinating dies if you'd like. But I decided to add a little bit different look with adding these trees. I think I'll put this one behind the penguin. And then, oops. Oops, that went on crooked. Yeah, I was able to pull it up. Okay. Let's just tuck it behind the photo because I don't want it on the photo. <clears throat> and then the little penguin person I can go there. All right. Now, I did comment that I wanted to add some of these little, what are they called? White loose snowflakes. So this would be great if you wanted to do like a little shaker card or a little shaker envelope. You could even use that really well with like pocket pages, pocket, or six by eight pocket pages, put some in the, one of those three by four cards and use um, some tape or whatnot to close it up. But I've taken some blue dots here and stuck some snow flakes on there. So then um, the snowflakes that are in the little pack here, there's small ones and large ones. Now you could also use um, um, I wouldn't suggest the Tombow liquid adhesive, but you could also try uh, the fine point gl glue. So all I'm doing is just sticking them down onto the glue dot and then pushing it down a little bit and then pull it up. And then I could add snowflakes. All right. So there we've created a scrapbook layout using the Snowy Wonder Suite with the Snow Days workshop kit and the Snow Day stamp set. So those are all, all items that are both in the September to December mini catalog and the scrapbooking brochure. So I'm really excited to share the workshop kits and don't be deceived by the name. It is called a workshop kit. But a scrapbooking workshop, as in you're creating these three double page layouts in one kit, but then you can add items to it. So it's something that it's pre-designed, but you can take those items and add to it like I have, or create it exactly how it's laid out in the, the workshop kit. So I hope that you'll have a look at the brochure um, or even on the online store for the new scrapbooking options. And I'm really excited as Stampin' Up! releases more over the coming whatever length of time. They um, were really great on getting these items out for September. So um, I'm really excited to see what new items will come, hopefully maybe in the um, new year, or we may have to wait a little bit till May for some new items, but we'll, I'm interested to see what Stampin' Up! brings out. So make sure to follow along and we're gonna scrapbook. And even though it's September, we got to 
uh, snow page done. So happy stamping.